Hi guys and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In our last video, we were looking at this risk assessment matrix and we were basically looking at how to use the filter function to return values by multiple criteria. So in this instance, we created a function where when you selected your different criteria from a list, it would give you the list of risks that was associated with it. If you've not seen that video, I'll link to it in the description below and should be appearing above. However, what happens if you want to, say, fill in a matrix that looks like this with those results to make it a bit more visual and useful? Now, this is going to be difficult to do with the filter function because, as you can see, where there's multiple things returning, the filter function spills into cells below, which is going to make it a bit difficult because it will be spilling into the cells below and you'll get error references. So if I use this one here as an example, we're going to copy this function over into these cells. We want to filter that risk table. We want the risk impact. And instead of looking at this C2, we want the impact to be looking at this cell and we want to lock it to our row. So we have the dollar sign in front of the two. And in this instance, we wanted the probability to be looking here and we want to lock it to our column. So the dollar sign goes in front of the C and we're going to hit enter. Now in this instance, it's not returning any values. Say we wanted to return no risks. You'll see that it's now returning that because there are no values in there. So if we copy this function down, we'll do the formula. And you'll see in these ones, we're getting these spill errors because essentially it's spilling down into the column below. So this one actually has three different values. So it's just spilling down. And this isn't what we want because we want to have a little visual that is saying when it's insignificant and possible, all those three risks are going to appear in the same cell. Now actually doing this is much easier than you might think. I'm going to use this cell again. So to make these all appear in the same cell, we're going to use a function that's probably very underused in Excel called text join. Now text join is one of the newer functions in Excel and it's used to essentially join different cells of text together into one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this out for now and I'm going to start by doing text join. And what it does is it uses a delimiter. So this could be a space, this could be a dash, uh, it can be whatever you want. I want my text to appear in a new line when I join them together. So I'm going to hold on Alt and hit Enter, and that basically brings my text to a new line. And I'm going to close my inverted commas. And then I'm going to do comma. Um, you can either tell to ignore empty cells or not. In this instance, I'm going to say true on that one. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter because I'm using the filter function. There aren't going to be any empty cells, so it doesn't really matter whether I hit true or false. And then the last bit is going to be what I want my text to be. And I want my text to be what's returning from that if error and filter function. And then I'm going to simply close my brackets up and hit enter. And you can see that those risks have all appeared in the same cell. So if I copy that, select my entire table and just paste my formulas in, you can see that they've all appeared in there. The reason my no risk is appearing as a lighter gray is what I've done if I go to manage rules is I have, if no risks is in, I've got it formatted as this light gray color and not as bold, just to make it a little less standing out. And so you can see that actually no risks are in those categories. So we look at risk one, it's currently appearing as moderate and unlikely. And if I were to go back to risk one and say, change that to minor and go back to my matrix, you can see that it's now moved over a cell and it's now appearing in the minor column. So this is a way that you can make spilled arrays from dynamic functions actually just all appear in one cell, which can be quite useful in examples like this, where you want to visualize data in a particular way. I hope that you found this video useful. Remember to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.